how to create a factor collection in 2020 Fusion Live. In 2020 Fusion Live, we can set up a factor collection to mark up the price in a catalog. And to demonstrate, I have a design open here and I have added some priced units from the Nobilia 2022 catalog. And the selected unit is currently priced at 269.90 excluding VAT. So to create a factor collection to mark up the price for the given catalog, I'm going to close the design first and then go to Manage Catalogs. In the Manage Catalogs window, we select the catalog we want to set up the factor for. And in this example, we are going to set it for Nobilia 2022 catalog. Once selected, we check the catalog out. Once the catalog has been checked out, we will launch the catalog administrator. Here, we can select the catalog we wish to modify and click OK. So now, in the catalog admin window, we go to options and select create factor collection. If required, Fusion Live also offers the option to create multiple factor sets. But for this example, we shall modify the factor for the default factor set. Factors can be set up by either trade retail factor or points. In the trade retail factor, we can set the trade and retail factors. In the last field of the trade factor, we enter our buying price. Let's say a price of a unit listed in Fusion is 100, but we are buying the unit from our supplier at a price of 60. In which case, I'm going to enter the buying price, that is 60. And this has now calculated the percentage at which I'm buying from my supplier, that is 40% below the price listed in Fusion. Similarly, we can enter our selling price in this field here. So for example, if we are going to sell the unit at double our buying price, I'm going to enter 120, which is double of 60. Or we can use the point factors to set up our factor collection. But before we do that, I'm going to undo the changes. So in point factors, we can simply enter the markup percentage to set the factor. For this example, I'm going to use the price of the unit we saw in the design earlier and I'm going to click on the change button here and enter the example sum. I'm going to enter 269.90 and click OK. This was the price of the selected item in the design we had opened earlier. So now we have our example price. Now if I intend to mark up my selling price by 50%, I can simply enter my value here and this will show me what the selling price of the example unit will be. Now if I would not want the set factor to be applied on the certain category of units, I can do so by deselecting them. For instance, if I do not want to mark up the prices for sinks and tabs, I can untick them. If required, I can now add a row by right-clicking on an area and click Add Row. And now we can have multiple factor groups and apply different set of factors to certain groups. And if you would like to apply the factor on only certain type of data link type, we can select the DLT type, for instance the range and then left click on the DLT entries. Here we can choose the range we wish to apply the set factor and deselect the ranges you do not wish to apply the factor to. I'm going to delete the factors that I do not require by right clicking on an area and select clear. So, to save the set factors, we go to File and then Exit 
to save and exit the catalog admin window. Back in the Manage Catalogs window, we check the modified catalog in by clicking on Check in Catalog. And now, when we open the existing design with the catalog we have set the factor for, we are prompted with the Room Validation Wizard to validate the price changes. And to do so, I'm clicking on Next and validating the price and then Finish. This will then update the prices of the units in the design as per the set factor collection. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching.